George, you come out of the closet. You're taking a brave step to getting married. I think it's now that you should admit that you have cowboy voice. Be strong. There's a lot of people here that care about you. No one's going to abandon you just because you come out of the cowboy voice closet and admit that indeed you have cowboy voice. I like to picture George and Brad just watching TV and making all their decisions based on what they see. There's a mattress sale today. George, a mattress sale. We have to go. Darn it. I was just going to say mattress sale, but I was eating this damn sandwich. Stop lying. Your mouth is full of sandwich, but you said darn it beat me to it. What are the facts? I want to know how Brad and George got engaged in their living room. And they, they're they giving me this double talk. It's nonsense. You know, years ago, if you had told me that I would get engaged eating a sandwich to another man when we're both nearly elderly, I would have said, what kind of sandwich? By delicious anguish, he just means that there are lots of questions when two nearly elderly men get married. You know, where should they register? Rite Aid? or the store that sells slacks? How can they find a judge who will perform the ceremony without laughing? And finally, how to break the news to their parents who have been dead for years. See America, there's nothing weird about gay marriage. And here to drive the point home is an elderly Japanese man from Star Trek with a cowboy voice and Botox. Watch Best Week Ever every Friday night at 9 and 11 p.m.